Hey guys, this is Tabinia. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So today I'm going to talk about one simple utility which is online available. And uh, the name of the utility is JSON Visio. With this utility, you can just convert your complex to complex JSON to a, a diagram in the form of graphs or a workflow diagram. You can create that, that in this particular JSON object, how many other child elements are available or in the JSON array, how many other uh, child elements are available inside the JSON array to array to or any complex JSON hierarchy, you see that. And when you're dealing with the complex JSON or very uh, a long complex JSON that you're using it, sometimes we always struggle that difficult to find out the exact element or different, uh, uh, you know, a specific element in a specific JSON array. And inside the JSON array also, we have another fifth element, fifth element to another JSON array like that. So it's difficult to, uh, you know, uh, visualize the things over there. So with this uh, diagram, you can easily do that. I'll show you that. Let me share my screen with you. Okay, so here the utility name is jsonview.com. You can just simply go to their website and then it's saying seamlessly visualize your JSON data instantly into a graph. And they have given one diagram here. You can see this is the simple, a complex JSON. You can see that and then it's converting into a diagram over here. And there are many features are available and it's absolutely open source free of cost. What do you do? Yeah, this is a, a GitHub page also. Like yesterday only they just committed the code and you can see that um, their official uh, GitHub page as well. Uh, let's do practically, let's see that. So simple go to editor. And there are many things you can do that. See, this is a com uh, one simple uh, sample JSON that they have given over here. And it's actually uh, converting into this, uh, you know, a diagram here. You can see that or you can see a graph diagram here. You can see, okay. You can just uh, zoom in, zoom out that also you can do that and then um, many things you can download a json file from here you can change the theme let's see the dark theme or the normal theme also you can do that and then you can just simply see the diagram only like this also you can uh, check it over here like that and uh, whatever the value that you are making any changes that also immediately it will be reflected here for example let's see if you see this uh, let me just a uh, little bit uh, zoom in and here you can see that scott name is superhero scott and see all these informations are available here so these four attributes, if you see that, uh, these are the normal JSON objects, key and value pair formats are available. It's available here, but this is a JSON array. And inside this JSON array, we have other key and value uh, JSON objects are available. So here you can see members is actually having, uh, it's an array because a square bracket means array. And this is your zeroth element, first element and second element. It means the size of this members array is three. That's why you can see that it's automatically converting into a branching concept here and you can see that the first zero first and second or you can say one two three like that you can see that uh, eternal flame is available here age is equal to this and secret identity is unknown whatever is written over here it will be reflected here and then again every adjacent array also another powers array is also having it right so same thing you can see that this is the powers array and all these values are available directly here so that's so amazing. If you really want to change any specific value, for example, let's say I want to change uh, age is equal to 2000 or 200 or anything, immediately it will be reflected here as well. You can see that uh, identity is, a, let's see, a valid identity. So then it will be reflected over here as well. If you want to add, let's see, one more uh, attribute here. Let's see, I'm saying that uh, I'm writing tools. And then you can see tools added over here as well. And let's see if you really want to add uh, another JSON object. For example, let's see put a comma and then another JSON object that I'm going to uh, write, let's see a uh, language, right? In the key and value pair format, both will be in a string. And then I'm writing languages, uh, sorry, languages uh, English over here. Okay. And uh, simple save it. So here you can see language English got added because it's not part of your JSON array, right? If you add it over here, then it will be part of your powers array. So a lot of things immediately it will be reflected and you can just read out and you can check that along with that, it will tell you it's a JSON valid or not. It's a valid JSON or not. For example, let's see one bracket is missing and then you try to do that immediately. It will give you error or okay. Error, red line error that what is the mistake over here? Then something like this. So you just put up a comma and then again, it will tell you, yeah, it's a, a valid JSON here. Perfect. There are many other features. Let's try with some other, uh, you know, some other JSONs also. I have a couple of uh, JSON file with me. Let me check, let me show you one more and see this. You just paste, copy paste here, that's it. And now it will be automatically converted here like that. See, this is so nice. This is directly starting with the client's array and three elements are available, three elements and their respective 
uh, JSON objects visible over here like that. Perfect. Now I'll do one thing. I just go back to the previous one and then immediately it will be converted to that. There is one other feature. I mean, small, small features are there. You can rotate the layout. See, you can just change, change the layout 360 degree. It means now it's coming from, uh, you know, uh, right to left direction. It's coming the data like that. So you have to read from here to here. If you really want to rotate once again, then it's, uh, uh, you know, bottom to up direction that's we are using it. You can see all the arrays are pointing upwards. That also you can do that. Then you can just change the, uh, you know, um, uh, rotation uh, from left to right also. That also you can do that. And then you can just say that uh, top to bottom approach also you can show that. So it's up to you how exactly you want to generate a diagram. That's really cool. Another thing is that uh, if you really want to shrink the nodes, so see this, like the node section, the square is coming, which will be shrinked. The size will be shrinked over here like this. Also, you can do that and you can save the JSON. The moment you click on it, the same JSON file will be saved over here. You can see JSON file. It will be saved in your downloads folder. And uh, if you really want to share this diagram with anyone, you can just do that as well. You can sim simply do one thing that uh, click on share link. You can share this, copy this URL and then share with others. Let's see, I'll just copy this and paste it over here. And when you see this, the same diagram will be visible over here. They don't need to log in, nothing. That's it. Okay. And then after that, uh, for example, let's see if you really want to embed in your website, this will give you an iframe source also. You just copy this, put it in your uh, page source of your application, and then start using it. The same, you can use it in your wiki pages, in your conference pages, or any documentation that you're writing, or any blog that you're writing. It You can just simply use it here like that. That's amazingly great. It's a better representation of showing the JSON attributes and the JSON values in the form of graphs as compared to this one. Then it will be super easy for you that uh, where exactly which value, which JSON array value is available in which hierarchy. It's easy to read actually. Same thing if you really, you have to, you must have done some uh, API automation using Postman or other tools or SSJord or anything. And whenever you have to validate with the JSON path, it will be super easy for you guys that, okay, fine. I have to go to members, zeroth element, go to powers array, and then uh, let's say turning tiny that we have to pick that. So you can easily pick from this diagram and then it's easy to see the data, especially in the e-commerce application where we have huge amount of JSON responses coming for a specific product, seller information, and then a lot of child elements also coming in the parent and uh, child to child. And um, it's very complex sometimes with along with the JSON array and typical complex JSON objects you are getting it you can easily validate those things over here as well. In fact, if you have any .json file, you can import that file here as well. That's amazingly uh, another good feature that we have it here. Okay, or maybe the URL of the JSON, it's let's see available on somewhere on some uh, server or maybe GitHub, just copy paste here and then start using it here like this. Okay, they have their official uh, GitHub page and everything that also you can do that. And they have given one enable performance mode beta. I have not explored it. You can just explore it. It is still in the beta mode. One thing uh, I also noticed that here you can search the specific node value. Node means let's see powers is a node. So let's see I want to search powers node. So in the diagram, it will give you, this is the powers node here. You can see that three nodes are there. So keep press entering one, two, and then three. That's so nice, right? That's so cool. And then let's see if you really want to search for, uh, let's see members. So I'll search for members. You see it's, uh, see members available here. Perfect. So this is also nice. Let's say I really want to search for uh, something uh, active. Okay. So active is a not a node, but let's say I really want to search for true value. So it's, it will be telling you that, okay, yeah, in this entire JSON, we have uh, you know, how many numbers of times like true values coming here like that. That also you can check that. Let's say I'm looking for 2016. So see 2016 is reflected here. So that also you can do that. Right, so this is like really cool feature and I really liked it. And uh, you, if you really want to take the screenshot, you can, you know, drag in, drag it anywhere and then you can just maximize, I mean, zoom in, zoom out. A feature is also available here, see like this. Okay, here. So it's very flexible and I think very, really good utility. I thought of, uh, you know, sharing it with you guys. So you can also explore it much and it's absolutely free. Share it with others on social media networks, guys, right, so that people will also, get some help to see that and just enjoy your JSON, uh, JSON utility with this thing. Thank you so much. That's all for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.